All right, I'm here in Steam Deck desktop mode here to show off X-Men Origins Wolverine. If you're like me and you have a soft spot for this game, uh, you've probably been driving yourself crazy trying to get it up and running on the Steam Deck. I've seen a lot of threads. I've seen a lot of questions being asked. I've seen questions being asked by me about how do you get the PC version of this game up and running on Steam Deck. That's the best version of this game. You can emulate the PS3 version, but it's not great. I finally got it up and running. Okay, there was one very useful, very helpful comment in uh, all the debating and all the threads on Reddit. I'll leave a link in the description of this video to that person. Thank you very much. The username escapes me at the moment, but I got it up and running. And here's how we are going to do it. I'm actually going to delete my own Lutris entry here. We're going to start completely from scratch um, uh, and just get this out of Lutris. So you can watch me install it in real time, and then we will test it at the very end of this video. So one disclaimer here straight away, of course, as always, you're going to have to provide the files yourself. There will be no links in the description. There'll be no links in the comments. I will not be supplying with the game files, okay? You're going to have to get the game pre-installed yourself on your Steam Deck, okay? You're going to have to find it somewhere or install it or move the files from a window machine. You know the drill yourself. You're on the internet, okay? I always say that you're on the internet. So... The main thing I'm going to point out is I'm using a pre-installed version of the game. Again, you're on the internet. I'm going to leave that up to you, but that's what I'm using, a pre-installed version. So you can either find that somewhere, or you could install it on your Windows machine, move it over to your Steam Deck, and then go from here. So just FYI, the installation process has already happened, okay? And what that all that means is that you should have a folder called X-Men Origins Wolverine with a subfolder called binaries with a file here called wolverine.exe. That is your executable, okay? So you're going to have to have all this ready to go before we start this process, all right? Next up, you're going to go to Lutris. Lutris is a program uh, that's, uh, I would say, an absolute necessity for the Steam Deck. It helps you run old, um, old video games. Click this plus symbol here at the top left of the screen. Go down to add a locally installed game. Uh, we're going to call it Wolverine, call it whatever you want. You don't have to type out the full name of the game. It doesn't matter. Down here at Runner, you're going to select Wine. Then over on Game Options, you're going to go find your executable. Okay, this is the file we were just talking about. So I'm going to go find mine. I'm going to go home, and I'm going to go into my Games folder. So again, we're looking for this Binaries subfolder. And Wolverine.exe is our file, okay? So up next, you're going to want to create a wine prefix, okay? This is super important because the next step of tweaking we're going to do to actually get the game up and running, there has to be a wine prefix for this game. So you're going to go over here. I've already created mine. You may need to create yours yourself. So what I just did is within the existing Wolverine folder that you've already got with all your other game files, I just created my own subfolder in there. All you have to do is make a new folder called Prefix, and that's it. Don't put anything in it. Just leave it there. Just create it and leave it blank. So I'm going to show you where I put mine. All right, so you see here within the X-Men Origins folder, the same group of folders where that binaries folder is, where they're executable. Just right in there, I made a folder called Prefix. Again, just create a folder, call it Prefix. Don't do anything else to it. Lutris will do everything else to it. You don't need to do anything. Just create it. So we're going to click OK there. All right, so now we have our prefix folder, and you can click Save. And there you have it. There's Wolverine within Lutris, okay? So next, you're going to click on it, left-click on it, and then go down here. See this little wine icon here, right where I'm hovering here at the bottom of the screen? You can go to click on this little tab here next to the wine logo, and you're going to go to Wine Tricks. This will take a couple of seconds to boot up. Uh, it, may, it won't pop up on the screen. Keep an eye on your taskbar at the bottom of the screen. You're going to click on this little notepad-looking thing. And you're going to go select the default wine prefix, which is the folder we just made. Click OK. I'm going to have to click on the toolbar again to bring it back up. Install a Windows DLL or component. OK, so this is basically kind of the equivalent of if you were on a Windows machine, you'd just be installing a driver or a certain component, like a free piece of equipment or, or, or software um, that a game would need to run. Things are a little bit more difficult on a Linux machine, so you have to kind of do it through wine. So we're going to click on this box here. and We're going to go to OK. And then we're going to click on the notepad again. And here's the list of all the drivers and all the um, DLL files and all the missing bits and pieces that you can install on your Wine Prefix. You're going to scroll all the way down to the P's, okay, the P section. They're in alphabetical order. And you're going to want to click this one here, Physics. 
PHYSX. This is basically an NVIDIA physics driver from around the time that this game was released. The game has to have this driver to run. That was the kind of key piece of information that, that I only just learned recently that allowed me to get this game up and running. So you're going to click on that, and you're going to go OK. Uh, you'll get, you might get some little uh, messages here. Just click OK. Just go through it. Just button through the whole installation process. Uh, so I'm getting a message here saying that I've already installed physics because I've, I've already run through this process already. You just, you just, you should at this stage get a little pop-up as it is installing. And it's very quick. It's a couple of seconds to install it. It's a two-second thing. Um, uh, there should be no pop-up at all. And then it'll bring you back to this menu, okay? The original menu. You can just cancel out of it at this stage, okay? And cancel out of everything and just be done with wine tricks, okay? And so this is a fresh install on Lutris that we've just done. And I'm going to double click it here and see if the game boots up. It should boot up. If it doesn't boot up, <laughs> I probably won't be publishing this video. <laughs> okay, it is booting up. <laughs> and there we have it. Uh, I've got my controller turned on. It recognizes the controllers. Uh, you can just button through everything here. It should recognize my, my save. I've already started playing this game. It's got native controller support. You don't need to do any fiddling with the controller. And I'll boot it up here just to show you that it's working. It's running at 60 frames per second. It's running in HD. It looks great. This is a great version of this game. If you're like me and you played it on the PS3 back in the day, it was still really good on the PS3, but I, I think this is a really, really neat version of this game. And it runs absolutely flawlessly. And you can play this game relatively well via PS3 emulation on the Steam Deck. But again, PS3 emulation is a... Um, it's not the main way to play games on the Steam Deck. You know, it's... Um, this particular game plays okay on the uh, the PS3 emulator on the Steam Deck. But again, I, it, when, if you can get this up and running, this is the better version uh, uh, of the game. Uh, uh, it runs flawlessly. It looks great. Um, there's no reason not to go with this over the PS3 version. I just wanted to make this video, and I'm going to keep it quick. I know my guides tend to be a little bit rambly in the past, but there's so many guides out there. Lots of people trying to help each other to get this up and running, and I've tried a lot of different methods, and they haven't worked for me. And it was one person buried way deep in a Reddit thread left a comment that I found super helpful. Apologies, I don't remember their name. It was a member of the Steam Deck Reddit, which is a fantastic Reddit. Thank you to those guys for all their help. And it was that little PhysX driver piece of information that was able to make the difference for me to get this up and running. So just one more thing. If you are unfamiliar with Lutris, you're going to click... Uh, you're going to right-click on it, and you're going to click Create Steam Shortcut, okay? And then we will close Steam and open Steam back up. Uh, you have to restart Steam for these kind of uh, Lutris shortcuts to take effect. All right, once Steam boots back up, you're just going to search for Wolverine should bring us the best result. So yeah, it's just called Wolverine here because that's what I called the Lutris file. You can write the full name if you want. And yeah, so now it's in Steam and that's all you need to do. Now when you go back into game mode, because you've added this as a Steam entry, you can play it in game mode. It recognizes the Steam Deck controller straight away. You've got no additional stuff to do. This game now works. You should be booting it into game mode. You can play this game, no problem at all. I'm going to, uh, you know, go to properties and I can rename it. I can give it its full name. I can add it to any collections I want. I've got a little collection uh, of all my Lutris installed games, but all that stuff is extra. All that matters is that this game now works. You can play it desktop, you can play it game mode, and it's a great game, and hopefully this video has helped ease some of your headaches. So if you've finally gotten this game up and running because of this guide, give it a like and a comment, and uh, let me know how you're getting on with it. Thanks very much.